Hello friends, how are you? So I hope you all are doing great and you all are enjoying these lectures, right? Okay, so uh, what we have covered so far is we have covered about the levels of inventory and uh, we are done with the EOQ also, right? But we are yet to cover the practical problems on EOQ. Okay, so uh, I really hope that till this point you have uh, revised all the topics what we have covered you are done with the basics of costing you have revised that right uh, we are done with the levels of inventory you have gone through that topic thoroughly and with economic order quantity that is eoq okay all those who are having the handbooks they must have revised it from the handbooks thoroughly properly the basics of uh, material costing and the basics of costing that is chapter number one you must have gone through all the topics okay now, in this lecture, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to solve a few practical problems on economic order quantity. So uh, I'll not be wasting time on explaining the topic again. Uh, right. Uh, we have spent almost two lectures on EOQ. So I hope you have revised it and you are confident enough to solve the problems now. Right. We'll straight away move on to the practical problems that we have to solve in this lecture. Uh, let's see question number seven. Question number seven from a YouTube lecture PDF that is available on a mobile app and all those uh, who are going to have the handbooks, they will get the PDF of the same. Okay. Right, sir. Let's read question number seven. Messrs Tubes Limited are the manufacturers of picture tubes for TV. The following are the details of operation during the current year. Average monthly market demand of tubes is 2000 ordering cost per order is 100 rupees inventory carrying cost percent per annum is 20 that means this is given as 20 percent right cost of tubes per tube is rupees 500 normal usage tubes per week is 100 minimum usage per week is 50 maximum is given to you lead time in weeks is six to eight weeks that is this six is the minimum lead time this is the minimum lead time and uh, this is the maximum lead time okay clear so compute from the above economic order quantity first thing second if the supplier is willing to supply quarterly 1500 units at a discount of five percent is it worth accepting uh, then it says maximum level minimum level and the reward level so first step is to calculate the economic order quantity this is the first step that we have to do now see this question very carefully i told you that uh, when we are talking about EOQ, in EOQ, the A stands for the annual requirement or the consumption or usage of raw material. Now, in this question, this is a little bit confusing question, sir. Confusing in the sense that it says Messrs. Tubes Limited are the manufacturers of the picture tubes. That means this is the finished good, right? But here it says normal usage tubes per week that means for making the picture tubes you need the tube as a raw material clear so most of us will commit the mistake of taking this 2000 as the monthly demand and multiplying it with the 12 and getting the annual demand but read the question carefully read the words that is written it says average monthly market demand right it says average monthly market demand sorry guys sorry sorry okay average monthly market demand so the market demand means the market demand will be for the finished product isn't it market demand means the market demand for the finished product that means this is for fg not raw material then Sir, the big question is then how are we going to calculate the annual demand or the annual consumption of raw material? For making the picture tubes, the raw material is also a tube, right? From which you are going to make the picture tube. The average monthly market demand shows the market demand is for our product, right we can identify the market demand for our product that means the finished product that we are manufacturing so this is about the uh, finished product then sir ordering cost is given inventory cost is given sir how to calculate the annual requirement that is the big question now right in such cases how to calculate annual requirement let's see question number seven first part is calculating eoq right 
in this part now the big problem is how to calculate a that is annual requirement in such cases what you have to do is see you are given the normal usage right this is the normal usage per week in one week the normal consumption the normal consumption of raw material is 100 units so we can calculate for 52 weeks in a year if we want to have the annual consumption it is one week's consumption right one week consumption is equal to 100 units right so we can if we want the annual requirement in one year we have 52 weeks that is known to us in 52 weeks what is going to be the requirement multiplied by 52 clear so in such cases what we have to do is you have to take normal usage sir we can't take minimum or maximum right because that specifies a particular level normal means on an average whatever is being consumed right normal usage multiplied by 52 weeks now the normal usage is 100 tubes multiplied by 52 that means 5200 tubes this is my annual consumption or the annual usage of the tubes in manufacturing the picture tube right so what is the ordering cost sir ordering cost is given to you ordering cost is given as rupees 100 right and what is carrying cost carrying cost is given as 20 percent of rupees 500 that is the unit price of the tube cost of tube is 500 and inventory carrying cost given in percentage right percent per annum 20 percent per annum right so this comes to rupees 100 again any doubts right so this question is uh, very beautifully framed in this sense that you have to read between the lines that means whatever the information is given you have to interpret it correctly now coming to eoq let's calculate eoq for this eoq is equal to under root of 2 multiplied by a multiplied by o divided by c so that means 2 multiplied by what is the annual requirement 5200 what is ordering cost 100 divided by carrying cost that is also 100 so this comes to 102 tubes right so this is the eoq that means this is the quantity which we are going to place the order for clear eoq stands for this now let's see the second part of it let's see the second part of it it says if the supplier that means the supplier means the person from whom we are going to buy those tubes if the supplier is willing to supply quarterly 1500 units at a discount of five percent is it worth accepting is it worth accepting what it means to say sir you say we will buy 102 tubes in one order whereas the supplier says if you buy 1500 units quarterly 1500 units quarterly sir that means you will place four orders in a year isn't it you will place four orders in a year that's what it says right or what sir eoq is 1500 right quarterly he says buy 1500 units right and the supplier says i will give you five percent discount that means five percent discount on this rupees 500 okay now the question is whether you should order 102 tubes or whether you should order 1500 units now this is the big question sir right whether you should order 102 tubes or whether you should accept the supplier's offer of uh, you know giving 1500 units in a quarter and giving you five percent discount this is what we have to evaluate let's see how to tackle such type of problem so we'll write evaluation evaluation of discount proposal evaluation of discount proposal right so there are two scenarios one scenario is if you go for the eoq option right and the second one is if you go for the proposed option right 
okay sir now in this what is the economic order quantity in this case 102 as calculated above and in this case 1500 right now can you tell me number of orders number of orders will be annual requirement that is 5200 divided by eoq right that is 5200 divided by 102 will give you 51 orders and here you will have 3.5 orders right and if you want to consider quarterly you can take it as four orders also right but that in that case the annual requirement will exceed clear so i have taken as per the annual requirement nothing to worry about it now what is going to be the purchase price sir what is going to be the purchase price in the first case the purchase price is 500 but in the second case the supplier says if you buy 1500 units in one go in one quarter i will give you five percent discount that is five percent of this he is ready to give it at 475 that is 500 minus five percent of 500 clear any doubts up till this point so this is the purchase price now shall we calculate the carrying cost also carrying cost in the first case the carrying cost is how much carrying cost is 100 rupees sir how 20 percent of 500 now remember in the last lecture i asked uh, you to write a note what the note was if there is a change in the purchase price if there is a change in the purchase price it will directly impact the carrying cost now there is a change in the purchase price from 500 to 475 that means it is going to have a direct impact on the carrying cost now in this case the carrying cost is going to be 20 percent of 475 right so this comes to 95 clear so this is an important point where a student often commit mistakes what you will do is you will take the carrying cost as 100 and 100 whereas whenever there is a change in the purchase price it will directly impact carrying cost clear now listen to it very carefully we have calculated eoq number of orders purchase price and the carrying cost now when we are evaluating the eoq proposals we broadly have three costs only right uh, if we talk about the EOQ proposals in the EOQ you will have basically three cost one is the purchase price one is the purchase price of material right second is the ordering cost second is the ordering cost and third one is the total carrying cost right carrying cost now you have to accept the proposal where the sum total of these three costs is minimum clear these two are known as what i told you these two are known as relevant cost clear any doubts so that means if we have to evaluate any proposal we have to consider these three costs one is the purchase price second is the ordering cost and third one is the carrying cost clear any doubts up till this point sir i hope this is clear let's see now so when we are going to evaluate it let's see what we have to take now sir we have to take three cost one is the purchase price one is the purchase cost right so first we are taking the purchase cost purchase cost is sir how many units are required multiplied by 500 that is the purchase price so this will come to 26 lakh right in this case 5200 units multiplied by 475 you need to be careful here 24 lakh 70 thousand now coming to ordering cost ordering cost how many orders 51 orders sir the cost for one order what is the cost for one order 100 rupees it is given right so this comes to 51 orders multiplied by 100 that means 5100 clear and here 3.5 orders multiplied by 100 this comes to 300 and 50 only now the third cost carrying cost third is 
carrying cost sir very easy what is the carrying cost sir what is carrying cost eoq divided by 2 multiplied by carrying cost per unit right so in this case what is the eoq sir eoq is 102 divided by 2 right multiplied by what is the carrying cost per unit 100 rupees right so this comes to 50 100 right it's a shagun okay sir in the second case what is the eoq eoq is sorry in the second case what is eoq eoq is 1500 divided by 2 because we have to take the average inventory multiplied by carrying cost per unit what is the carrying cost per unit sir 100 rupees absolutely wrong sir carrying cost per unit 95 rupees that is why i did this basic calculations first multiplied by 95 right multiplied by 95 so that means 750 multiplied by 95 this will come to 71250 71250 so whenever you have the eoq evaluation these are the three basic cost that you have to take any evaluation proposal this is the way that you have to done calculate eoq number of orders purchase price per unit carrying cost per unit then take the three cost purchase price ordering cost carrying cost right so the total is total here comes to 26 lakh 10200 and here it comes to 25 lakh 41600 now what should be the advice what will you advise this person what will you advise this person sir i will advise him to that the discount proposal that the discount proposal discount proposal should be accepted right because the total cost under the discount proposal is less than what it is under eoq clear so this is how this question is to be solved right this is very important because uh, 90 percent chances are that you will get a question where you have to evaluate like this a discount proposal might be there a quantity proposal might be there so all these things are there in such cases okay so we are done with the first part second part uh, part it is asking for the maximum level of stock what is the maximum level of stock sir sir we don't know what is maximum level of stock sir please tell us what is maximum level of stock maximum level maximum level is equal to reorder level plus reorder quantity minus minimum consumption minimum consumption multiplied by minimum lead time right sir what is the reorder level in this case do you know the reorder level sir sir what is the reorder level in this case how to calculate reorder level sir we will have to calculate first for the maximum level we will first have to calculate the reorder level which is asked in the fourth part that means we'll have to do the fourth part first okay i leave the space for this and i will do the fourth part first uh, this is maximum level minimum level i will do the fourth part first because i don't know the reorder level for this reorder level is equal to maximum consumption or maximum usage multiplied by maximum lead time what is maximum consumption it is given to you maximum usage is 200 and the maximum lead time is 8 right so that means 200 this is 200 multiplied by 8 that means 1600 units or tubes right so now you have the reorder level sir you can solve this this is 1600 plus a reorder quantity that is eoq as i have already told you that reorder quantity is nothing but economic order quantity until and unless otherwise specified okay minimum consumption is given to you 50 units multiplied by minimum lead time that is six so this will come to 1402 units okay so we are done with the maximum level we are done with the reorder level and one is left with the minimum stock level let's do what is minimum stock level let's see sir minimum level minimum level is nothing but reorder level minus average consumption average consumption multiplied by average lead time 
okay what is uh, reorder level sir reorder level is calculated as 1600 units minus average consumption is given as 100 and the average lead time is 7 sir how 7 because 6 and 8 in between the average of 6 and 8 is 7 right so this comes to 1600 minus 700 that means 900 units is the minimum level clear any doubts in this question absolutely clear sir okay so we are done with the question number seven an important question from the examination point of view okay right sir now moving on to the next question question number eight let's see another important question rst limited has received an offer of quantity discount on its order of material as under uh, as under price per ton will be 9600 if the material ordered is less than 50 tons the price will reduce as the quantity increases that is what the first line says it says an offer of quantity discount that means the more you order right the more you order the more you get discount on the prices so these are the various scenarios he says if you order less than 50 tons the price will be 9600 if you order uh, 50 or above 50 but less than 100 the price will come down to 9360 okay so that means there will be a discount okay sir now he says if you order 100 units or more than 100 units but less than 200 units then the price is 9120 uh, and similarly for the next two the annual requirement of the material is 500 tons clear what is given is the annual requirement is 500 tons the ordering cost is given to you uh, 12,500 and the stock holding cost is 25 percent of the material cost per annum you are required to compute the most economical purchase level so he says out of all these levels what is the economical purchase level the sir very simple the economical purchase level will be the one where the total cost is the minimum isn't it sir what is meant by total cost the total cost means this purchase cost plus the ordering cost plus the carrying cost right it is not asking for directly eoq he says tell me the level most economical purchase level most economical purchase level means eoq eoq means that level where the total cost that means the purchase cost ordering cost and the carrying cost is the minimal so that means in this question we have to evaluate the three right sir the ordering cost is given as 12500 nothing to worry about it stock holding cost is 25 percent of the material cost so now we don't know with certainty what is going to be the material cost it depends upon the order you placed it can be 9600 it can be 9360 it can be 9120 right it can be anything sir right so in this case we have to evaluate for the various order sizes that means we have to take the various scenarios first we'll say if we order anything less than 50 okay if we order anything less than 50 then what will happen if we order anything between 50 and 100 what will happen sir if we order between 100 and 200 what will happen what will be the total cost what will happen means what will be the total cost let's see let's do it question number eight right now i'll write a few things let's take the order size first let's take the order size first right because our purchase price is dependent upon this order size right now we we have the various scenarios so less than 50 i'll take 40 units right you can take anything there is no hard and fast rule just for the simplification i am taking if i order 40 units because 40 is less than this 50 right so my price will be 9600 units now if i order something between 50 and 100 okay so i'll take the te uh, second scenario where i'll say i'll order 50 units because this is the second case this case because it says anything 50 or more than 50 listen to it very carefully what i'm saying i'm saying 50 or more than 50 but less than 100 so i take 50 units right you can take anything between 50 and 100 sir you can take 99 you can take 90 you can take 80 you can take 70 75 74 anything you can take right that is not an issue why i am taking 50 is just for the simplification of calculations 
okay so you there is no hard and fast rule that you have to take 50 only sir how we identify sir it has to be 50 it has to be anything between 50 and 100 but less than 100 you cannot take 100 you can take 50 right from 50 till 99 you can take any figure right but that will complicate the uh, calculations only nothing else third part third part says 100 but less than 200 so i'll take 100 here right i'll take 100 here next 200 less than 300 so i will take uh, 200 here okay i'll take 200 here any doubts so next part says 300 and above so i will take 300 here okay this is my order size now what is the annual requirement sir can you tell me what is the annual requirement what is the annual requirement read the question again annual requirement is given to you how much 500 tons okay 500 so now can you tell me number of orders here if you know the order size order size is nothing but the eoq sir quantity basically right out of this we have to find out the most optimum level so now you have to tell me number of orders how you calculate number of orders sir annual requirement divided by order size right so this comes to 12.5 next one comes to 10 this comes to 5 this comes to 2.5 and this comes to 1.67 any doubt okay so now we will take the three cost number one purchase price number one is going to be the purchase cost purchase cost okay sir purchase cost how to calculate this purchase cost sir see what is the requirement 500 what is the price in the first case the price in the first case is 9600 units i'll multiply it with 9600 right so the value is going to be 48 lakhs 48 lakhs in the second case in the second case my quantity will remain same that is 500 sir but price will change what is the price in the second case 9360 so the price is 9360 and the value is going to be 46 lakh 80000 46 lakh 80000 okay in the third case the quantity remains the same that is 500 but the price reduces to 9120 right so you need to be very careful to change the prices here to change the prices purchase prices so this value will come to 45 lakh 60 thousand in the fourth case uh, the my quantity will remain same but the price will come down to triple eight zero right is it it same yes triple eight zero okay so this value comes to 44 lakh 44 lakh 40 thousand in the last case the quantity will remain same sir the annual requirement is same but the value will come down to 8640 and the total value is 43 lakh 20 thousand is that clear so this is how you have to calculate the purchase cost so out of the three cost first one is done second one ordering cost second is ordering cost sir ordering cost ordering cost is number of orders multiplied by the ordering cost per order the ordering cost per order is given to you as 12500 so that means uh, what you will be doing is here 12.5 12.5 multiplied by 12500 so this will give you the ordering cost that is 1 lakh 56,250 right in the second case what you will be doing is 10 multiplied by 12,500 that means 1 lakh 25,000 1 lakh 25,000 in the third case what you will be doing is uh, 5 multiplied by 12,500 that is the ordering cost per order uh, this will be 62,500 in the next case what you have is 2.5 multiplied by 12500 this will come as 31250 and in the last case what you have is 1.67 multiplied by 12500 okay 
and the value is going to be 20,875, right? So this is my ordering cost. So I told you in the calculation of EOQ, three costs are important, purchase cost, ordering cost, and the carrying cost, right? Now, what about the carrying cost, sir? Let's see the carrying cost. Sir, let's see the carrying cost now. Sure, sir. Why not, sir? Carrying cost. See, at the first time you might feel that how we are going to tackle these questions in the examination. But once you practice these questions, right, when you are uh, uh, done with the revision of the concepts and you are done with the practice of the questions, you will easily be able to tackle such questions, right? This is the first time that you are doing so nothing to worry about it, right? Now, how to calculate this carrying cost, sir? Carrying cost is Q by 2, that is quantity, that is the EOQ, 40, 50, 100, 200, 300, average inventory we are going to carry, multiplied by the purchase price per unit, multiplied by 25%, that is this much, the carrying cost is given to you, right? 25%. So I'll directly put on the values. The values uh, come out to be 48,000, 58,000, uh, 1,14,000, 2 lakh, 22,000, and 3,24,000. Sir, why this carrying cost keeps on increasing? Sir, see. The number of units that you are carrying keeps on increasing. First 40, then 50, then 100, then 200, then 300. If the quantity that you are going to carry increases, obviously the carrying cost will increase with it, right? That is why the carrying cost is increasing. Sir, why the ordering cost is decreasing? Because as you increase your ordering quantity, your number of orders will come down, right? Now, as your number of orders come down, your ordering cost will decrease, your carrying cost will increase. So there is an inverse relationship between the two. Okay. Now we are done with all the three costs. Let's try to evaluate, sir. Now, which is the best option in the first part? What is the total cost? Total cost comes out to 50 lakh 4,000. 250 what is in the second question second part second part says 48 lakh 63,500 third part third part says 47 lakh 36,500 fourth part fourth part says 46 lakh 93,250 and the last part is 46 lakh 64,000 875 now what will you recommend sir what is the optimum quantity what is the optimum quantity sir where the cost is minimum now at which level the cost is minimum the cost is minimum sir when you have 300 and above units right so we can say the cost is minimum the cost is minimum when order size when order size is 300 units right so this is what the requirement is compute the most economical purchase level that means it is always advisable if you order 300 and above units the second part says compute EOQ if there are no quantity discounts and the price per ton is 10,500. He says there are no, uh, forget about the above part, the quantity discounts and everything, forget about it. Just the price per ton is 10,500. You have to compute the EOQ, right? Very simple, very simple part. In this case, we have to calculate EOQ. In this, what is the annual requirement? Annual requirement is 500 tons. What is, what is ordering cost? Uh, ordering cost is rupees 12,500 and what is the carrying cost? Carrying cost is 25% of what? Of 10,500, right? So uh, 10,500 multiplied by 25%, this comes to 2625. Just check it once, okay? 10,500. 25% yes 2625 now we have to calculate EOQ EOQ is 2 multiplied by A multiplied by O divided by C 
टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फाइव हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई कैरिंग कॉस्ट दैट इज टू सिक्स टू फाइव दिस कम्स टू सिक्सटी नाइन टन्स गाइज इफ इट इज इन पॉइंट्स यू कैन राउंड इट ऑफ ओके दैट्स वट आई हैव टोल्ड यू अर्लियर ऑल्सो यू कैन राउंड इट ऑफ नो इशूज विद दैट क्लियर सो दिस इज अगेन एन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वी आर डन विद इट राइट दैट्स वाई आई टोल्ड यू वट एवर क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू डू क्वालिटी क्वेश्चन राइट वी आर नॉट फोकसिंग वट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज टू फोकस ऑन द क्वालिटी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट यू कवर राइट दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट and i am covering almost all the aspects now after that what you have to do is you have to practice practice and only practice that is the most important thing okay let's move on to the next question question number 9 let's see zed company supplies plastic crockery to fast food restaurants in metropolitan city one of its products is a special bowl disposable after initial use for serving soup to its customers the bo uh, bowls are sold in the pack of 10 pieces at a price of rupees 50 per pack so there is one pack this is one pack in which there are 10 bowls okay in which there are 10 pieces the demand for the plastic bowl has been forecasted at the fairly steady rate of 40000 packs every year the company purchases the bowl directly from the manufacturer at rupees 40 per pack within a 3 days lead time the ordering and related cost is 8 per order the storage cost is 10% per annum of the average inventory so basically zedd company is what supplies the plastic it is a trader basically for the trader whatever it is buying from from the manufacturer is a raw material right and whatever it is supplying is the finished good so for the trader the raw material and the finished good is almost same like they are buying the packs they are supplying the packs to the food restaurants okay so what is the annual requirement 40000 packs okay and uh, we are given the price ordering cost is given and the storage cost 10% you are required to calculate eoq sir is there any problem in this no sir let's do it question number 9 question number 9 first part you have to calculate what you have to calculate eoq sir for that what is the annual requirement 40000 packs right what is the ordering cost ordering cost is given to you sir it is rupees 8 per order rupees 8 okay and what is the carrying cost carrying cost is given as 10% of rupees 40 per pack 10% of rupees 40 per pack that means rupees 4 right so we can calculate eoq eoq is under root of 2 multiplied by a multiplied by o divided by c 40000 multiplied by ordering cost that is 8 divided by c that is 4 any doubts right so tell me the answer what is the answer sir ji in this case the answer is eoq is 400 packs okay so we are done with the first part second calculate the number of orders needed every year very good sir very easy sir we can every one of us can tell us second part number of orders quickly tell me what is going to be the number of orders number of orders sir very easy sir what annual requirement annual requirement divided by eoq what is annual requirement 40000 packs divided by eoq is 400 that means 100 orders that means you are going to place 100 orders and in each order you are going to order 400 packs clear done sir next calculate the total cost of ordering and storage balls for the year he says calculate the total ordering cost and the total what carrying cost sir storage means the carrying cost where it says the storage balls it means it is asking to you for the carrying cost and the total ordering cost any problem sir in this no sir okay third part annual annual ordering cost what is going to be the annual ordering cost sir ordering cost is number of orders number of orders multiplied by ordering cost 
right so what is uh, number of orders are 100 orders multiplied by what is ordering cost ordering cost is given to you rupees 8 right 8 so that means rupees 800 any doubts next in the same part it is asking for the annual it is asking for the annual carrying cost right now what is annual carrying cost sir eoq divided by 2 multiplied by carrying cost per unit per unit per annum what is eoq here eoq is 400 divided by 2 multiplied by carrying cost per unit per annum we have calculated in the first part that is rupees 4 so that is rupees 4 so that means 200 into 4 200 into 4 rupees 800 so total cost is total cost total relevant cost total relevant cost is equal to 800 plus 800 is equal to rupees 1600 clear any doubts right sir these three first three parts were very easy what we have discussed so far now coming to the fourth part he says determine when the next order should be placed what he is asking for he is saying sir tell me when the next order should be placed assuming that the company does maintain a safety stock and that the present inventory level is 333 packs with a year of 360 working days right 333 packs now the company is already having a 333 packs try to understand now fourth part see what is the annual requirement 40,000 units now 40,000 units is the requirement for how many days 360 days right now the company is having 333 units now 333 units is the requirement for how many days 360 divided by 40,000 multiplied by 333 this will come to this will come to three days that means sir this inventory of 333 this will be sold this will be sold in three days right so now tell me when the next order should be played placed sir read the question carefully again it says what is the lead time sir what is the lead time okay lead time is given to you here okay sir i'll highlight the lead time now lead time is three days right so if you order now it will take three days to come and you have the inventory of three days only sir right so what you will write is the next order next order should be placed next order should be placed immediately right because the company is having the company is having inventory of three days only right and fresh order and fresh order will take fresh order will take three days to arrive right sir i'll explain you again this 40000 is the inventory level for 360 days right then this 333 the stock the company is already having at present is the stock only for three days that means within three days we are going to sell this 333 if we sell 40,000 units in 360 days then we are going to sell 333 units in three days okay so that means the next order should be placed immediately because we have the stock only for three days in the three days we are going to sell those 333 units and after that if the fresh order is not placed we'll be out of stock right and the fresh order is going to take three days because the lead time is given as three days okay so uh, this was the little bit of a tricky part in this question else nothing was there in this question only this part was important right a little bit tricky 
this uh, part question number nine so we are done with the question number nine and with this we complete our topic of eoq right levels of inventory is done eoq is done now what you have to do is you have to do the study material questions right from our ici study material question discussion series available on our mobile app android mobile app you can download it and get it from there and you have to practice the questions whatever we have given in our handbooks also okay so this is your homework now what you have to do revise the concepts practice the questions from the ici module and practice the question from the ksj handbooks this is what you have to do and after that your inventory levels and eoq is done so sir what is the next lecture agenda what we are going to do in the next lecture sir in the next lecture uh, we'll be doing a small topic that is stock out cost one question on it i'll explain you stock out cost right see the most important topics of material costing are done right the most important that is inventory levels and eoq these two topics are the most important topics 90 95 percent uh, chances are there the question will be asked from these topic right so these are done in the next lecture we'll be covering the stock out cost one question from the ici module we will take it uh, take up and you will be able to understand it easily we'll give just one lecture on the stock out cost right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy thank you so much